Good to you the heat and color of your skin one to such a thing. Give us credit for being able to use our minds. And when people becoming conscious of themselves, determined to use their minds, you do not know to what extent they can go. Liberate the minds of men and ultimately you will liberate the bodies of men. Fireblaze, what are you saying? I it's Safa, it's Rastafari and Levaya. Ready, no? Special reasoning today, we're gonna give him a little history lesson in um, <laughs> Jamaican history, culture, and reggae history because we wanna focus on how cocaine and the Casio MT40 killed reggae. Mm -mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cause I know one gonna say reggae not dead yet, but listen to the argument before you get to that one. So do you remember the days of slavery? So do you remember the days of slavery? And the beat of the beat of As we know, reggae is an indigenous music to Jamaica, right? Yeah. Coming straight out of folk type vibe because you have your mental calypso manifest, um, your rock steady, and all these things come through. Yeah, this, yeah, then, yeah. Sky, sky, yeah. we get the reggae, right? So with reggae, the Pan Africanism, the Rastafarian culture, Rastafari culture, um, black liberation. Black liberation, you say. You know, love herself and all that feed into the the essence and the origin of the reggae music. You know, Herb played sure. a, played a, a a big um was a great contributor to the manifestation of reggae. Right now, sure. I want to clarify it. <clears throat> Artists were using cocaine during the seventies, mm -hmm. but it wasn't as prevalent as it was in the eighties. And you can hear the difference in the music from the 70s to the 80s. And as the substance changed from herb to cocaine, the, the music get more more gritty. More lewd, yeah, yeah. You know? It's more rugged. More rugged. Now, in regards to the sound, and you can speak on that because your your mentor is <laughs> the man that changed You're the game Wayne Smith. <laughs> Smith right there was a machine called a Casio MT40 And it's impact where you see the, the, the Casio MT40 becoming like the, the, the dominant thing as opposed to live music is, is in the modern dance hall and reggae to because excuse me, a computer rhythm right now is the order of the day you know. Big time man. Say what you gotta say. <laughs> say what you gotta say. No, a say computer it. rhythm is the order of the day. But he, and most most ones and ones now can can match match can if them get a live rhythm now them can make make them tone match live rhythm and them now have the melodies them for drop underneath that that tone you know for complement the live rhythm so it's a thing where we see where the Casio MT40 really get a dominant edge from 1985 coming up and that's you why see? and that's when people <laughs> confuse that when you go to reggae shows they empty because check it the artist there that's packing out place is non-Jamaican artists when it comes to reggae. Mm -hmm. They playing one drop, it's pure. They don't even make no albums. <laughs> they like they just travel. 
<coughs> they don't have no albums to that. Maybe they do an EP once in the blue moon, but they play the one drop. And they play, I'm not going to say they play traditional reggae because they had their, mm-hmm. their flavor to it, you know. But nonetheless, they're playing live music. And when they're recording, they're recording with a band. They're not recording with no computer. Mm-hmm. And that's what's capturing the people. But what captured the people with the essence of reggae? Live band music bands in the studio not no computer computer can't capture your heart it's a computer but it, i it, want to tell you i tell you i say it's funny like no man not no man who idolize the whole digital rhythm them don't even over this all right i'm on like wayne smith see wayne smith tell me personally say when emmanuel david did it is them a idolize the live music, you know, but them just a try to play around with this thing. As I saw come the preset them come on and them a try to play around with the thing. Cause most man not even over say is really how me to put it now to make everybody can over it. It's like digital waveform through like an analog filter. It got it run through, you know? Yeah. And 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 it's like them a try to play around. Cause it's a rock and roll song, them did that, them did that mimic. And I can't remember the rock and roll song where him tell me. But him cause Contrary to many, what many people believe, King James was in a road, was in England or US at the time. <laughs> yeah, I heard the st- I heard the story still. I heard when he came back. Yeah, I heard the story. I come him come back and, and hear the them thing, and then they don't know too. Him had the man around the studio. It so comes now him 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 seen as the producer, and they had them probably add a one and few vibes to it and mix and them thing. You know, but it's really it's about the whole point is. Is really idolize there them idolize the live music and I try to mimic the live music. That is one of the major reasons why Sling thing come about. But nowadays when I you know I deal with digital music and I deal with deal with music from the standpoint that him not try to idolize the live music, you know. He might have it in a theme own say uh, him own a unique right and him now him not give a tribute or a tribute or him not pay no ode towards the live music so that are one of the major difference so Wayne Smith them did actually have a great intention towards the thing so it kind of differ you now so it's like it's like as a thing where the youth them now them just draw further and further and further from live music you now them draw further and further from it and it, it, it don't even impact them as how it did impact Wayne Smith them and them and they still love the music for what it really was you know I um I've been fortunate enough to talk to enough of the dance artists right mm-hmm and the one that struck me the most was uh the colonel josie wells he um, right. he spoke about because he lived through it you know he the man a real the real time step you know like he so he was just speaking about when the country began to become destabilized yes, um, right. through infiltration of cia or other government forces what was going on and there's a there's a correlation between the shift in the music and the destabilization of the country. Politics come in 72. Yes, that's the worst thing ever happened to Jamaica. And that's where people. things change. That's the worst thing ever happened to Jamaica. Because the gangs, gangs used to use your discretion. Yeah. Then politics come and pop the thing open so wide that people lost respect for each other. This is the question I don't understand. Yeah. And, and if you don't want to talk about it, don't. Yeah. I talked yeah. to a lot of the people that was into the politics. Yeah. Thing. People seem very smart, right? Yeah. And I don't understand how they played the game so long. Because initially it's like, I can see how you can get caught up with certain things. But year after year is still going on and people not saying, say, oh, or it just got out of hand. Or weird. That's a very, very important and a serious question. But you're really saying, you know, that I thought so too, you know. And whoever there was within that era, within that time, Say, but you know I trick them politicians, I trick way. But brainwashing is a heart. And, 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 and the, 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 the veil that came over your eyes, you can't really see the truth. I just get glimpsed the truth. But you cannot accept it because you are so you're naive to some things and, and, and they're scared of the reality sometimes. And, 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 and then he said, but, oh, me say, me a labor writer, me a PNP, it, my, my granny was it. And them still living at a lean bed up house. And then he come and enforce it, and it transfer now from the level of just verbal fluid to physical 
stone and metal and to a higher level now to firearm. When did the firearms come? What year was that? I think, as a young man, I think 76 was a real rough with, 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 with the sightings yeah. of the UFOs. <laughs> <laughs> See? But of course people don't speak about the music that was being promoted because people only gonna listen to what they hear we have to yeah, like yeah. factor that in so people never speak about the propaganda of the music that was done it seemed like yes the casio came in and it was more economical to have one man in a room and build a rhythm instead of having a band which is true but at the same time no one speaks about those in the media who pushed the music forward because those were the ones pushing yellow man to the forefront you know what i'm saying <coughs> louis lecky and all them and, and ringo and, and that 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 whole vibe you know so it's like yeah, true. it's like people don't acknowledge the role that they played in regards to because the music you know some people say society reflect the music some say music reflects society but true. but on a, 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 a realistic thing music a lot of times does influence society more than society influenced music because a lot of aspects yeah majority of time because from a youth start sing sing music and then him become a superstar in the eyes of the people the people them start follow fee movement even though the people them push him to the forefront you know but once him become the the the, the main focus him become a role model to all the youth yeah so those that were pushing the music don't get the blame that they should i feel and they, they've been a very destructive force in regards to um, the role reggae has in Jamaican society. Yeah, yeah, because the shift, we, we, we can't see where the shift evident to this date right now because <laughs> majority of youth right now we are come forward. Him they really have a time to learn the craft of music because enough man right now we say my DJ or say them a sing. Them not, them not really focus on the craft of music, you know. Them focus on putting um using the, the keyboard for make for make some rhythm and say alright I'm gonna put a, a, a bass line a synthetic bass line right this and I'm gonna put a put the little the little one card right this and, and that's it and then the rhythm become incomplete now and him, him send it out now and it seem like that is the standard so the standard come like now it come like the standard kind of drop compared to when time some ones and ones I say alright see there he made the A flat minor, you know, and them type of thing. Them man just I know say my rap. If him don't know that, him go home tomorrow go study it. And when him go home go study it, you know, so when him come as two, them are ready. So enough man now come as two, and them don't ready because the digital <laughs> even now make them feel like say music is just a thing where anybody can do, you know. And cut and paste, cut and paste, you know. Yeah, the cut and paste thing now works. So now when you get a youth on a stage show now, a youth. Yeah, yeah, I'm black, 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 and I'm do this and set two line and then I'm say pull up and I'm say pull up now. He automatically feel like say, the crowd supposed to real fame, but him not realize he's supposed to come and present fame craft to the people. Him. So the technology, the digital era now make him feel like say, what I'm do is alright and it's okay, but it is not fire. And it's, it's wild how politics or politics that, was, that took place in 1980. Is affecting the music today. Well, I'm today, man, then they and I see at A, I tell you, I said the remnants, they're there for children because enough man not even remember, say, and the politician, them draft. First and foremost, first and foremost, Edward Siaga was a producer from within the Scadians. Enough man, they even know how Edward Siaga them impact the music as a JLP man. And then, and bring a lot of musician pan campaigning Big and time. then when they had to think about michael manley remember michael manley them sent for max romey and make max romey say 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 go joshua go you know and max romey told me he had to go in the hiding after that yeah all right then then <laughs> do, then they had him no know man because max romey could do, do an next song and say no joshua no and he know say my friend me because i just saw the thing set because the politics come out and i want to tell you say, if not just jamaican politics you know because I'm a, the earlier the day I mentioned the cocaine. So I want to show there is the war and drugs. It's a thing that trickled down to, to, to the Jamaican society. And then once it trickled down to the Jamaican society, that is one of the major reasons how it end up re, end up in the reggae. True. You see it because I want to remember in the eighties, you know, 
we have the show of Passy and the Spanglers, man, them really I try to come to America and try to go to UK and Canada and all of these different places. We get involved in the drug trade where uh, did that take place due to the same CIA in a fire. This is when this is when many of these gangsters certain ways start sponsor the thing. I mean they are the artists them coming to using this and then the substance abuse start get higher and higher and higher until we realize where where they're today. And the man them, we don't have to call no names still. Because Fire, I don't, don't want to call no know. names if we know new, but enough of the artists. It's, it's some get See. through and some never get through, but people will be shocked to know the artists that was coked out in the 80s. Yeah. Like full blown crack kids. 90s. And, and <laughs> into, modern into, day, into, into modern day. You know, enough probably know like a Gregor Isaac, but enough of the artists should be shocked to hear how many of them really get caught up in this thing and the next thing too that mess up mess up the thing mess up the thing fire is the hustlers there promoting reggae shows and flop out the price all right people don't want to talk about that because check it you have an artist right we use an artist whatever artist that was big in the 80s and the man just give them all 50 grand for a show because it's hustle money you don't care and the next promoter yeah, now him, yeah. Man, try clean him money. yeah yeah you know so then the next man now want to keep a show and say you only have five grand to work with that just flop out the whole business now the yeah. artist now don't want to work with nobody because he, he, he tastes the 50 and he figures say that's his that's his fee but that's not his fee remember in a fire he, them always for me look up me hear it and them always tell us say there is no business like show business in a fire so you see, show, show business is the biggest business, you know. So you see, when it comes to show business and so much different parties are getting involved and so many politicians and so many gangsters are getting involved, it automatically are going even, to even take a toll from the content where the ones them are, ones them are built to in a fire. And all the ones them see themselves, you know, especially with getting out of this light. So they are going to look, get in the light you now, spotlight. That is, they might look for get a financial reward with much a spotlight. Check out Mr. Davis. They can't look at the thermos. Fabulous, you're fabulous. The father must talk about you to the insurers. I am Mr. Captain, Mr. Make up a job in town. Who's the Mr. Captain, not the rubber dog long? Who's the poor rubber dog long? Tell them they can't even come and tell them what's up, 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 what's up
the cashier empty party come and mash up thing and musician can't get to work it's just the, the direction where many enough of the man them take took and enough of the man them still informal with for them thing and never even defend what is theirs to so like a the, whole heap of factors that if a plane like that the cowboy culture the industry yeah exactly mm. it, see that the perfect terminology exactly fire exactly <clears throat> so so answer this question for me then right all right the country the country is infiltrated right yes sir and and violence increases why would you release music that speaks about violence <laughs> wouldn't, you, wouldn't you release more music that speaks about love brotherhood or a consciousness to kind of keep the people calm but it seems like you're fueling the negative aspects of society by circulating the music that highlights that by agents of oppression I will create agents of oppression because remember so when the country get infiltrated and the guns them come in now, you know. And the guns them come in, the guns them don't just come in by themselves, the guns them come in with a new culture. Because when the guns them come in now and them could them have to come in with a new culture and them come in with finance behind it and them come in with politicians have a have a ulterior motive. So with the politicians having the ulterior motive now, them start vice enough for the artist them. And when them vice enough for the artist them is really for fuel for them political campaign and for them fuel for them agenda and then the man them know what the gangsters them know and the dance them know start become producer in the thing to know so you realize say, them have to say respect to all the gunman them and then you, you see them type of thing they start coming more and more because man has a respect to gunman man I tell about how him and the film crew start so the new culture where it bring in how the society start change once them become more ignorant and become more more apathetic so you see, you see that, that that in itself you now you start to show in the lyrics and because dance hall is a is a, is a ruggedness you now see because them not have the mm, chick chick now them them have something with them say mm, 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 mm. that now the fast paced tempo they with the new culture is what spawn them type of lyrics there so that is one of the reasons why they them could even really stick to the to the slow tempo reggae rhythm where i get them the do too good vibration the fast pace now along with the shift in the culture automatically cause the ignorance in the mindset to certain level where the them lyrics start change so it's like a, some people that call it an evolution and say oh one thing impact the other what them call it correlation or causation one of them things you know yeah and um it's funny enough when you really delve into it and you, you you learn the backgrounds of Jamaican producers because what I've what I've learned and I think it's like in that hip hop to a certain extent but not in R and B but definitely in reggae where producers have no musical talent it's just it's just money funding and then the musicians yeah. that build the rhythm don't get any producer credits no but them on, them the, let us beat me because them because i really work for higher than most musicians but do the thing i really work for higher them dealers nah, big time that's what i'm learning because i remember i'm not gonna say who and i was shocked when this person responded like this but we were talking right so the man telling me all these rhythms he built and all these songs he played on and you know how he got the musicians that sounds like yo you the producer he's like you know what maybe maybe i was producing Hmm. I was like, this man, like fifty years old, you know, fifty, sixty years old. You didn't realize you were be- a producer, like you, you did everything, you know. But from what I understand, hustle is because um, I'll mention one that people should know about: uh, Junior Laws. You yes, say, you know, you know, he caught how much bullets he caught in London? 10, 20, 30 Anyway, mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But, but then people was really into the thing deep and. They don't, they don't know music people to that you know you hire he was able to uh, uh hire roots radic one of the top bands at the time you know yeah. he was able to pay the artist to pass through and voice him some he paid he didn't pay some he rough up he didn't rough up but it was just the fact that he had the money so he just got the great the, the most talented he can afford at that time to deal with it and he all had right. a sound and he had a nice run but all of them are like that george Payne. Well, um, well, on, well, even, well, before we even, they, they even continue, they are call, call out a, a classic group right now where, where, where important in our, in our reasoning like this. They are Roots Radix. I have the opportunity to play with Roots Radix too and I re- over something how important Roots Radix is as a, as a bonfire in, as a session, a session musicians. 
Slabber Old, Ratatam, which is Styles Scott, and you have Tony Ashan. Well, the, the, whole, the whole thing. They were the ones, they were there from, from when the live music was kicking until the, 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 the digital become kicking. And this band, this was a band where we, we, we managed to stay firm throughout all of this and make themselves. Remember, so when Barrington Levy start, it again within the dance hall era, you know. I see him, Roos Radix coming out, and this them time, I empty Casio, MT40 done in fully, 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 you know. True. And Roos Radix managed to come and lick all of them hits the same time. So, it, may I show there, I say, it was still there. And the musician them still did a fulfill for them works at the same time. So, it could have never, that one move in a 85, could have never really destroy reggae, so to speak. But, and Roos Radix is proof of that. It's what I say. <laughs> no, serious thing though. It is true when you're really meds it like that, you know? Yes, sir. <laughs> so, I don't, so I don't want to side up then. It's like, all right. So I know everything is cyclical and everything has a period, right? Yeah. But I kind of, I guess it's infiltration too to a certain extent, but. I feel that it was strategically done when Bob Marley died that they put Yellow King, Yellow Man to the forefront. No disrespect to King Yellow Man, true, true. King Yellow Man, but that message kind of, kind of, kind of deviated. Switch, switch, yeah. switch up, man, to some rhyming, yeah. to some rhyming schemes rather than message, you know. Yeah, it really deviate. Yeah, it become it become it, it's a still a, it's a nice art farm, you know. Don't get the thing. I don't want people to get the thing twisted. You know, the art farm, a Yellow Man and King Yellow Man itself is it, a nice, it is a nice, you know. Getting married in the married one Sunday morning and them type of vibration, you know. I'm getting married in the morning and them things there. So it's a nice rhyme scheme and patterns and different flows and ABC thing we can get keep a jumping and moving. But the revolution with the cars, with the wheeling wheelers did really bring forward to the world is not that same type of revolution. And also I think the finances match up everything too because true the earlier artists weren't really getting the money like that. Yeah, and also they were reading, they were reasoning. Cause from what I always, from what they tell me, it was a lot of it was it was, it was a lot of community based thing in the sense of a lot of reasons took place, a lot of reading. You know, um, people were very health conscious, running. You know, they was burning herbs still, they was eating decent, they was farming. So the culture kinda, Rastafari was living yeah. strong, 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 and it come for liberal black people in the eye side. So yeah, but it take a div, it take a it take a turn, you know? A big turn. A big turn, a big turn, and and when it took the big turn, because as I said, the Rastafari bridge you don't get the credit that they deserve. Because in all reality, I don't. <laughs> what were you really checking, right? I don't know if there's a, a group in the history of, uh, of our people that really kind of heighten the consciousness of the people, yeah. Well, there's some across the, the world that the, 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 is Rastafari is the greatest black liberation movement the earth has ever seen fire yeah, no. and and most people to this day that's why it, it, it kind of hurt I heart or the, the many water I don't to a one love vibration but and this uh, this uh, is this, uh, the next type of reasoning still in a boat so it's still tied to the to this reason right now or reggae because as as profile we tell you, you know Rasta, re- reggae is not Rastafari, right? technically speaking. No, you know, no, but, no, no, no. But it still, it still has the heavy influence where, where the world knew it for. Thank you so much for watching I Never Knew TV. Please subscribe, comment, like.